So here we have a setup to measure resolution of a digital camera. Here you have uh, the CCD camera I showed you before. This is uh, the lens for this camera. Uh, the camera is focused on uh, this uh, resolution target. Uh, this uh, has two targets. One is a US Air Force 1951 resolution target. That allows to measure a resolution of this camera directly because you have different groups and different elements with the known spacing. The other is just the bar resolution target. We can use this also. And this camera produces the image of this target on that monitor. Uh, it's focused and uh, image is completely resolvable. And if you use a US Air Force resolution target, you immediately can see which element just stops to be resolvable. So which element uh, has barely visible black and white lines. And uh, because you know uh, the distance between these lines that are barely resolvable, you immediately can uh, find out uh, the resolution of this camera. If you use uh, this bar target, what you do, you simply continue to move this target when continuing to focus the camera on that. You move away and you see that it becomes less and less resolvable. And eventually, you will come to such a distance. You can come to such a distance where you cannot anymore see the difference between black and white lines. Here you still can, but eventually, again, I will increase the distance. And you come to the distance where now it just stopped to be visible. Then, as I told you, what you do, you measure the size of this image, the size of this image with the ruler, and of course, the size of the full image. So the size of the target and the size of the full image. Uh, the ratio of the full image over the size of the target gives you the magnification of the camera. And then multiplying the number of lines in this target by this magnification factor, you can find the number of pixels in this camera, because now you have one line per pixel. And uh, that allows you to find uh, the resolution of this camera, especially if, as we do, we know the uh, size of the sensor. So dividing uh, this uh, size of the sensor by the number of pixels, we can uh, find uh, the size of each pixel, so a resolution of this camera. So that concludes this experiment.